Sick of love slipping through fingertips Watch that flame keep it flickering All that bickering enveloped in bitterness I think we bigger than all of them little things Love unconditional, disaster is imminent though. We ain't got minutes to spare, but and divvy up I know what you did, you did cause you human And no man is perfect, so I expect you is yeah. All that's said is done All that's done gone What is up you guys? Welcome back to another weekly vlog. So I'm on my way to Dallas right now to shoot. We just stopped at Chipotle to grab some lunch. I'm in the car and then I also got a smoothie. It's so good. Um, it's been so cold in Dallas. We've had a winter storm and it's been raining and today it's finally like 67 degrees. It's really, really nice out. So I'm going to try to shoot some looks um, and get some content for the next week and a half. Week and a half um, because I really haven't had a chance to shoot outside. So really excited about that. Um, I'm going to take you guys along, show you everything behind the scenes. And then of course show you how the picture comes out. And then take you, I'm going to try to go to the mall as well. I want to go into Zara. I've been eyeing some stuff online and I'm hoping that they have it in store. So I'm gonna probably go to the mall after I'm done shooting pictures. So I'll take you guys along with me and show you everything that we do. Yeah, everybody fall down once. Every logo fall down once. Hold it when it come. It ain't gonna stay when it drop it when it fall down. Pick that up. Hold it when it come. It ain't gonna stay when it drop it when it fall down. Pick that up. Listen to me, this love is a rocky road. Don't know who you are till you get too close. Yeah, got a heart that's good as gold. Put some respect on my name. It's in the past, don't you worry, baby. I won't budge, won't judge. That's a promise, baby. Cause we could all use a lifeline, make it last a lifetime. Picture perfect scenes ain't the model, baby. Uh, uh, uh. Sliding down the runway, church on a Sunday, these two birds in. Holy matrimony, tricks and ponies, bells and whistles, gold this is so official. Yeah, they're bearing two doves. Honestly, no matter who around us. Okay, so change of plans. I accidentally forgot my two shirts that I needed. So I'm only gonna be able to shoot two outfits. This is a second outfit. Um, and then we're gonna head to the mall after that. So it's gonna be a very short content trip at Dallas today. Here's outfit number two. It's just a onesie from the golf and then this motor jacket from Boot Man. And I've got my Air Forces. And now I need a bag. I need a bag. I've got a bag. this door right here looks kind of cool but I think it's too dark right
figured we'd just do like a little chit chat while I'm doing my makeup. I am so excited, I have to say, to be back on YouTube. So excited to be back on YouTube. I love YouTube so much. And I think a part of me took so much time off because I was like embarrassed. Um, not really embarrassed, but I wasn't confident enough to be on camera because I'm like, oh, well, this is wrong with my face. Like, this this looks crooked. I've gained weight, like you can tell on camera. And I just like didn't want people to like see the real me, I guess. Like with Instagram, it's really easy to, I don't edit my pics crazy. Like I use like filters and stuff like that. Not like heavy filters, but like I'll bring like the exposure down um, to get like that moody effect and stuff like that. But for Instagram, it's really easy to manipulate like a false reality. It's really easy to post a picture and show people like make people believe something completely different or make them believe like whatever. And I'm not saying I do that. I'm saying like I, I, I stay true to who I am. Like I try to be extremely real and upfront with everybody who comes across my platform. Like that's just who I am. Like I just I'm just a real ass bitch, you know. I just like I don't believe in that fake shit but I gained weight obviously and didn't want like people to see the real me like with ink like it's really easy to pose a certain way to like play with um different lighting and stuff like that and with video it's kind of hard to hide that and I was just scared <laughs> for people to see that I've gained weight um like during the pandemic a lot of people have gone through the same thing throughout the pandemic so i don't know why like i was embarrassed there's nothing wrong with gaining weight like there's nothing wrong it's such a normal thing to go through and i just i just really want to be like happy you know what i'm saying like i'm not trying to force myself to be a certain way like i just want to be happy i just want to be happy like in my skin i want to feel good about outfits that i wear like i want to be able to wear a cute little crop top and you know some baggy pants without feeling like I look disgusting, you know? And even now, like, my boyfriend or my family will be like, no, you look fine. But I just, like, I just want to feel happy with myself, you know? And I just want to create very healthy habits with eating and going to the gym. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't want to force myself to, like, be on a diet because that's when I start to, like, freak out. And then I, like, go back to food because I'm like, oh, I give up. I can't do this. You know? I don't even know if that makes sense. Okay. So, you guys know how I have a podcast. I, we're, we're, <laughs> we are rebranding. So, we met up for the first time. My co-host and I, we met up for the first time in Florida back in January, like the end of January. And we went there to go film, like, our new season. And then we were like, oh, I kind of want to change the name. We were both like, let's, let's change the name. Like, we were both not feeling it anymore. And we wanted to go through a big rebrand anyways because I feel like the whole 2021 that we've been podcasting, like we've learned so much and like we were trying to cater to everyone and trying to please everyone, but the episodes that did very, very well for us were a lot of like relationships, girl talk, social media, stuff like that. And so we're just rebranding our podcast so we can be more like for the girlies or people who like need advice or people that just like want to relate to us, you know? Um, so we're going through like a whole name change, a whole big rebranding. Um, she's coming down here in two weeks because we're going to shoot our cover art and everything like that. So I'm so excited uh, for like the rebrand re of our podcast. It's going to be so good, like so good. Um, but I just have a lot of things going on right now and you know, I just need to stay focused. Speaking of that uh it's really hard because i am like obviously like instagram was my first platform and that's the platform that i really thought was gonna like take me far but instagram has been tripping lately you guys like i have no words for instagram <laughs> i have no words maybe it's just me but my I just can't anymore like it's so like heart-wrenching sometimes because you put in so much work and then you just like feel like your stuff doesn't get seen but I'm just gonna keep pushing posting on TikTok I'm really excited to be back in YouTube because I really do feel comfortable in front of a camera like I feel like 
I feel YouTube is more me even though I was saying before like I was embarrassed to get in front of a camera I I love it like I, I've always wanted to be an actress I've always wanted to do things in front of a camera a camera um like I've always wanted to be like an actress or a model or do like commercial shoots and stuff like that so I feel very natural even though I've never done that before I think I went to an audition when I was a kid but I've like actually never done it before but I love it like I love YouTube I love vlogging I really love doing like mini vlogs on like TikTok and um, Instagram reels I feel like that's just me like that's just who I am I feel like I'm meant to be a vlogger especially me like when I first started I was watching a lot of videos on like how to be an influencer how to be a content creator a blogger and i feel like everyone just kind of gives you the same rundown so i so i figured if i can show people what i do like maybe they can create their own routine and like figure out what works for them oh my goodness i really need to try new makeup i really stick to the same thing like i'm a creature of habit like if it works for me i'm not changing it i'm like also i have really sensitive skin and so um Oh, you can see it. Oh, it's a very, I need to blend this out more. I have very, very, very sensitive skin. So I'm always scared that something's going to break out my face because it's happened before um, with a lot of products. Oh no, I look so cute. <laughs> this looks so good. I'm so happy. I was so worried that I was going to look like a, like a clown, like on camera. But I think this looks so good that this is, Okay, I might have put on a little bit too much blush, but we'll blend that out. Like, maybe I actually do look like a clown. Okay, so my camera died. I'm on my phone now. Um, I'm almost done. I just need to put some mascara on and... I just need to put some mascara on and some lip gloss and then I'm done. What I was saying before is that if you guys have any video, I don't know where to look on my phone. If you guys have any video, I have a new one of these too. I just gotta find it. Um, if you guys have any video ideas that you would like to see from me, let me know. And um, I will try to film those. I do a lot of fashion and a lot of fashion content on TikTok and on Instagram. Um, but if you want to see like try on hauls of certain brands or something like that, let me know in the comments. I'm trying to make that happen. Okay, I'm putting on my lips. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon um, in the shade Live on the Edge, shade 05. You can see my dog in the back. And I just outline my lips with this and then sometimes I'll bring it a little bit like up here and down. I hate a little hair because I'll take my gloss. I'm going to use the Dior lip oil. Um, but I actually use the lifter gloss a lot um, because it like has more pigment than the lip oil but my lips are really dry right now but the lifter gloss i'll just outline my lips with the ink crayon and then i'll put the lifter gloss and it kind of just like blends everything together since i'm using the dior lip oil i'm going to just what i just did i brought it a little bit in the center um as well and it's so good the dior lip oil is so good um, look at that. Oh my goodness. It feels so good on the lips too. And the applicator is so smooth. These are my lips. Nice and soft from the lip oil. And then this is, um, coral but the dior lip oils like i really don't think it matters which shade you get because there's like barely any pigment okay so this is the final look i have to say i really 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 like this skin what is it a skin i really really like jacqueline hill's new um skin perfecting blurring tint it's not a foundation it's a tint but it looks so good and then i'm also using the concealer but i did mix in 
the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I am creasing just a little bit, but I feel like I always crease with my under eye bags. Um, but I have to say, I really, really like it. I'm gonna wear it throughout the day and see how it holds um, to see if it gets any pat, like any patchiness happens or anything. But I think my skin looks very, very flawless. Like it looks very, very smooth and there is blurring going on for sure. Um, and I really, really like it. And so their recommendation for what color would best fit me. And I'm sorry guys that I keep looking on the, on the opposite side. It's because I'm recording on my phone now. Um, but I went with their recommendation and I think it was perfect. So if you go to their website, you can color match yourself. And then it also has, um, which concealer would be perfect for you. And so I just went with their recommendation. It looks really freaking good. Um, but I don't have much going on for today. Um, I did go shooting in Dallas yesterday and oh my gosh, forgot to turn on live mode, forgot two of my outfits. Like it was a mess. I did get to shoot two looks. Um, I don't have any video content except for the film that I recorded on my camcorder, but I don't have any video content. So what I usually do is turn on my live mode and then, um, I'll just shoot all my pictures. And then at the end, when I go to edit for like TikTok or for Instagram reels, or even sometimes for YouTube, I take the live mode photos or the photos that are in live mode and I make them videos and I put them together and I get a video out of that. But I forgot to turn on live mode. I didn't have much to show you guys, but I did go into Zara. Oh, I did not show you the shoes that I got. I made a car on Zara. And so I wanted to go to the store to see if they had any in store and they had the shoes sold out online, but the store had the last pair, but they're so cute. Let me show you guys. Okay, these are them. They're just these platform like Barbie heel and I'm not into color you guys like color scares me but it's spring so I think these are gonna go with a lot of stuff. They're so good. I don't have much going on today so um, I'm in the end of the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!